Can you put it in your room? Esco. Oh, it's Esco. Esco. I have all of their apartheid biscuits as well. <laughs> oh, thank you. Biscuits too. That's a good idea, Tim. Carrying the tray. All the Esco? Yeah. All the Esco tickets. Skull pickles. Uh, Skull wafers. This pickles cost uh, away 500 grams. For 500 grams of pickle, that's 120 litres of water. 120 litres of water. Uh, 240 per kilogram. Uh, so obviously these pickles are grown on stolen land. Uh, this 500 gram tin of pickles represents about 40 litres more than the daily average usage of water for Palestinians living in the occupied territories. Literally, literally, this, this state, this economy, prioritises pickles above human lives. Shame will work, shame for stopping the... We should stand here today, call on Earthgirls to remove all of its Earthgirls products from its shelves. These are products of a state which is racist, which steals people's land, which denies them rights to water. No choice but to work in the settlements. 
Parks Zone District to ensure we can soon celebrate true multiculturalism with guarantees of equal rights for all. Swedish Retail and Co-op has joined the boycott. It's time to get into David Jones. David Jones! services to the Israeli prisons, checkpoints and also the apartheid wall and the Israeli police. Human rights organisations have documented systematic torture and ill-treatment of prisoners, including child prisoners. So what does G4S do in Australia? The Port Phillip Prison in Melbourne and the Mount Gambier Prison in South Australia. They're two major private prison facilities that are managed and run by G4S. They run the Menace Island Detention Facility. What about Brisbane and Queensland? These are the things that I've found so far. They're actually responsible for security at the Port of Brisbane, but they actually man manage the Brisbane Immigration Transit Accommodation Centre in Brisbane as well. So I guess we're here because state government, local governments and obviously the federal government have a lot of links and a, a lot of ties with these sorts of corporations and an important aspect of this campaign is calling on these um, our, our governments and our institutions to actually divest and hold these corporations accountable for their clear and obvious violations uh, in supporting Israeli violations of international law. So that's three years that we have kept this campaign alive. We've been um, uh, acting in solidarity with Palestinian people now on dozens of occasions and today is another one of those occasions. So. Um, thanks for turning up for the walking tour. Brick by brick, wall by wall, Israeli apartheid has to fall. Brick by brick, wall by wall.